Dear child of God, there may have been some people around your life who are asking you night and day, so where is your God? Where is the God you have been serving? Yes, they have been looking for ways to mock you. They have been looking for ways to laugh at you. And so they waited for that time that you had a need. They waited for that time you had something you were believing in God and you knew God was going to do it. You had so much faith in God, but yet it didn't happen. And so they came to you asking you, where is your God? You see, David was in that point in time in his life where they came and asked him, where is your God? Many times, dear child of God, people do not understand how God operates. And so they would want to talk you down. They would want to create an enmity between you and your God. They would want to bring bitterness to you. So they will say words like God is not kind. God is not faithful. They will say things like, where is God when all of these things happened? Dear child of God, they will say these things so that they will cause you to rebel. But do not allow it to get to you. Sometimes you just may not understand. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't trust God. We go through difficulties, dear child of God. We have had our fair share of challenges in life, but yet we know that God is faithful. You see, looking into the life of Job, then I knew that we need to know and learn how to trust in God and trust Him completely. You see, Job would say, though you slay me, I would yet trust in you. He was saying I would believe in you. Regardless of the situation, my heart will be stayed on you. No wonder when the wife told him to curse God and die, he would refuse because he knew that God is ever faithful. Yes, I may not understand things, I may not get the full picture, but I know he is a faithful God. Yes, you may be asking yourself, but why did it have to happen to me? Dear child of God, is it that you are expecting that it should happen to somebody else? You see, you should learn to trust in God. Whatever the situation is, God is ever faithful. God is ever faithful. And nothing we experience in life would cause him to stop being God. Dear child of God, nothing we go through in life would ever stop him from being the God that he is. So sometimes when you have all of these questions, when the people around you have come to ask you, where is your God? When it seems like God is already very far from you. When it looks like God was never going to show up in your life. Dear child of God, when you sense that God is unfair to you, tell him regardless, I will trust in you. Yes, there are sometimes we have waited for something. There are sometimes we think that we have labored for them. We have worked for them and he said he's a faithful rewarder. He would reward us for our good works. Sometimes the scriptures will let you know that when you are faithful, when you have given your best to God, you will get the blessings. You will get something back in return. But what happens when it doesn't come the time you want it? Dear child of God, that shouldn't stop you from trusting in God. Because there are some people who have been much more faithful than you are and have experienced worse things than you are experiencing. So trust in God. There are people who fasted, who prayed, who gave their best of service to God more than you do. But today are no more. Today they have been forgotten, but you are still alive. You still have something that is keeping you going. There are some people that gave their very best. They were faithful, they were committed, but yet they had a broken home. But you know you didn't do so well to deserve much. Here God is still there with you. So do not allow anything cause you to rebel against God. God is faithful. So when the people come asking you, where is your God? When they ask you, what will God do for you? When they ask you, what would God change in your life? You've been serving him all of these years, but we have seen no proof. We have seen no change. Dear child of God, keep trusting in God. Keep holding on to him. Keep telling him, God, I still trust you. I know you are a faithful God. I know you are a faithful father. I know you do not fail. I know you do not disappoint. I may not understand it all. Yes, my bones may be crushed. You see, David said, like the crushing of my bones, my enemies taunt me. 
why they say to me all day long where is your god in psalms 42 verse 10 he was saying they laughed at him they mocked him the child of god at the time he was leaving his throne at the time he was running for his life somebody was laughing at him was mocking him but sometimes you may find yourself in that position you may find yourself at that point in your life that people are laughing at you they are mocking you yes you are wondering you are thinking you are asking yourself why is my life this way you're asking yourself why does it have to be me dear child of god i want you to know that none of these things will stop god from being god and the earlier we understand it the better it will be for us just go to god every day and say lord regardless of the situation regardless of how i feel i will still trust in you imagine his own beloved Yes, he said, amongst all, he said, this is my beloved in whom I am well pleased. He was speaking about his son, Jesus, yet he allowed him to die. Dear child of God, did you understand that? The one who he called his own beloved, the one who he said is closest to him, is closest to his heart. He spoke to everybody endorsing Jesus before everyone at the time. Yet, he saw him suffering and turned his face from him. Dear child of God, he saw him on the cross and yet did nothing. Jesus will cry, why have you forsaken me? Jesus will cry, why have you left me? But yet, he did nothing. Dear child of God, that same Jesus today is exalted. That same Jesus today is sitting at the right hand of the Father. That same Jesus today, his name is mentioned every day. That same Jesus today has a name that is greater than every other name. Sometimes you should realize and understand that when you go through the things you are going through, that doesn't mean God doesn't love you. That has not reduced the love he had professed. That has not reduced the love he said that he had for you. So when you are going through challenges, when you are going through troubled times, when you are going through the heaviness of heart, when you are in pains, always know that God will forever be God and nothing will stop him from being God. And in due time, yes, in due time, he will visit you. He will change your story. He will cause you to rejoice. He will take you out of that captivity. He will take you out of that mess you have found yourself. Yes, the things you have been believing in him for the things you have been waiting for you will still get dear child of god you see the scripture says hope defer makes the heart sick and this is the truth sometimes you have expectations that didn't happen and this has caused you to be sick this has caused your heart to be heavy this has caused you to turn your back from god you should know today that you are doing yourself a great injustice when you try to do that when you turn your back away from god just tell him god you are almighty you are all-knowing you are wonderful in all of your ways you are great i may not understand it but your word had made me to know that everything is working for good i may not get it but i know you are working something out i may not see it i may not know the reason you denied me of those things that i wanted i may not have seen the big picture i may not have known that you did it to preserve my life I may not have known that you did it to save me. I may not have known that you denied me these things so that I could have my soul preserved. Dear child of God, I want you to know that there are some things you don't know. There are some things you have not seen. But God will do regardless because he has always the best plan, the best intention, the best motives for us at all times. So let this be a world that will comfort you. Let this strengthen you today. Tell yourself assuredly that whatever the situation is, God will forever be God. So if they laugh at me, if the people around me are mocking me, saying, where is your God? Let him show up for you. Let him come change the things you are going through right now. Just don't let it get you down. Keep trusting in him. And in due time, he that knows how to fix every life, You'll fix your life. He that knows how to settle everyone will settle your life. Just tell him, I will still love you. I will still judge 
you faithful. I will judge you faithful regardless of the situation. I will judge you faithful because I know you are the all-knowing God. You are the all-wonderful God. You are the all-loving God. I may not understand it. It may not have been for my favor. Yes, it may not have happened for my good as at the present time. And that is the understanding we have as believers, as, as people of God. We think that God has not been fair to us. And then we do not know that he was doing something beyond what we could ever see, beyond what we could ever had imagined. I pray God would help you. God would help you to trust God, regardless of the things you're facing, regardless of the things you're currently experiencing in the name of Jesus. May the Lord strengthen you and see you through to the very end and cause you to have your testimonies in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.